Many of you may recall this video I made of Doug Batchelor telling the SDA people to go ahead and get the vaccine, even though he knows it is sin to do so. I also share in the video how he openly removed a Bible verse to hide his sin regarding the 501c3 when asked about it. In this new video clip I'm about to share, you will notice that another 501c3 pastor named Stephen Bohr is either openly lying about Ellen White taking the smallpox vaccine, or he is totally unaware he is echoing a Jesuit contrived letter that Ellen White never wrote. In either case, this man who has helped to create an image of the beast with his 501c3 in America cannot see plain truth regarding such things for disobedience unto God causes all prophetic and doctrinal understanding to be crippled. For the only way to understand prophecy and Bible doctrine is to obey the God that wrote it. For the precious Seventh-day Adventist people to trust men like this places themselves and their loved ones in abject spiritual danger. Check this out. It might surprise many that Ellen White and her secretaries received the smallpox vaccine when there was an epidemic in her day. And in those days, of course, medical science was not nearly as advanced as it is today. D.E. Robinson, one of Mrs. White's secretaries, under the date of June 12, 1931, wrote the following regarding Ellen White's attitude towards vaccination. You can find this in Selected Messages, Volume 2, page 303, and I quote, You asked for definite and concise information regarding what Sister White wrote about vaccination and serum. This question can be answered very briefly. For so far as we have any record, she did not refer to them in any of her writings. You will be interested to know, however, that at the time when there was an epidemic of smallpox in the vicinity, she herself was vaccinated and urged her helpers, those connected with her, to be vaccinated. In taking this step, Sister White recognized the fact that it has been proven that vaccination either renders one immune from the smallpox or greatly lightens its effects if one does come down with it. She also recognized the danger of their exposing others if they fail to take this precaution. It was signed by D.E. Robinson. Evidently, Ellen White saw no contradiction between taking the vaccine and trusting in the protective power of God. Furthermore, her rationale for taking the vaccine was altruistic. Her concern was for the well-being of her secretaries and others in the community. Ellen White never got that vaccine. But before proving that, notice that Stephen Bohr just admitted on camera that the letter he quotes from was not written by Ellen White at all. Yet he acts as if it is anyway. He shows that it was written on June 12, 1931 by D. E. Robinson, which is in fact 16 years after Ellen White died. In the letter, D. E. Robinson admits Ellen White did not refer to them, meaning the vaccines, in any of her writings. Then, after what he just read on camera from Selected Messages, Volume 2, which, by the way, was compiled by the already corrupt Seventh-day Adventist Church in 1958, Bohr then goes on to act as if the letter written by D.E. Robinson was somehow absolute, unadulterated, concrete evidence that Ellen White took the vaccine. And if you watch the rest of the video, you'll see he then claims Secrets Unsealed makes no recommendation one way or the other, yet he just told all the SDA people that believe Ellen White is a prophet that she took the vaccine knowing that once said, most SDAs will then get the vaccine on that statement alone since they trust her impeccably. Worse yet, the letter he quoted from was never seen until 43 years after her death when the already apostate SDA book titled Selected Messages was compiled, edited, and sold to many unsuspecting Seventh-day Adventists claiming Ellen White wrote it. I mean, have you seen all the videos I made proving they changed her writings? 
how on earth can anyone trust the SDA church when they have been caught red-handed in many sinful acts? Check out all the well-documented facts I laid out in videos, audios, pictures, doc files, Bible and SOP studies, and news articles at sdaapostasy.org when you get time. But the bottom line is this. Ellen White knew all about the very powerful natural healing methods that our Lord has blessed us all with. She simply did not receive the smallpox vaccination at all. But how do I know this? And how do I know Stephen Bohr is either lying or he is completely unaware he is using a Jesuit written letter to present Rome's lies as if they are factual, which, as we know, will then cause many to defile their bodies as well as endanger their lives by getting the very vaccine he also admitted on camera was not even approved by the FDA. If, in fact, that even matters. I mean, the FDA is just as corrupt as any government agency. The way they have been orchestrating the scandemic proves this hands down. And just so you know, According to past President George W. Bush, all 501c3 churches and ministries are now considered official government agencies. Check it out. It's Executive Order 13397. Well, as prophesied, all the churches and ministries under a 501c3 are in fact a duplicate or an image of the church and state Vatican in Rome. Now for the clincher. When commenting on all the bogus letters that Ellen White never wrote that were floating around in her day, you know, like the one Stephen Borges quoted from, these letters we now know were written and distributed by SDA leaders either in bed with Rome or actual Jesuit priests themselves. Notice what was penned in Testimonies for the Church, Volume 5, Chapter 83, which was titled Unfounded Reports on page 696. It says, and now to all who have a desire for truth, I would say, do not give credence to unauthenticated reports as to what Sister White has done or said or written. If you desire to know what the Lord has revealed through her, read her published works. Stephen Bohr is doing exactly as Sister White declared should not be done. Thank you for watching. God bless.